Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to be mindful of what you entertain. No matter what it is while you're on your journey, you will be met with times that are trying and will test where you believe that you are on your journey. These are simply opportunities to grow. These are opportunities to be more aware. These are opportunities to evaluate different ways in which you can deal with issues or remove issues. Now, this can be played out in many different ways in many different situations. It could be people, environment, ideas and or beliefs. Nothing is safe from outgrowing or understanding. The value that we can bring to any and all things is the ability to learn from experience. It's not about having all the answers. It's about holding on to the answers that do work for you. See, there will be some situations where you do have to interact with environments or interact with people that may not see you in the best light. Years ago, I will believe that my job was to change their mind. It left me stressed, depressed, and with results that I did not want. Until I allow myself to be free of that burden. See, if others have made their choice about you and who you are, then they're the only ones who can make a choice to see you differently. That's their cross to bear. Just as it's your cross to bear to either seek validation from the outside world or receive validation from inside yourself and know that you are not only good enough, but know that regardless of what the outside world is doing, you find peace in knowing who you are and being open to evolving that perspective more and more. The world for as long as documented history can show us stays divided. And if the outside world is divided and we assess who we are by the outside world, then we will continuously be divided within ourselves. But take your power back. Trust in who you are. Have peace with who you are. Don't expect everyone to understand you. Don't expect for many people to understand you. The minority will understand you. By the minority, I mean out of all the people that you come across in your life, out of all the situations, out of all the ideas, uh, beliefs, circumstances, what have you. Most of the time, we will not be accepted or understood. That's okay. It's okay. In my experience, the the most troubling times or the most uh, prominent issues that I dealt with came from me wanting to fit in. So I would take on ideas, characteristics, or personalities that weren't really uh, conducive to a healthy version of myself. I say this many times, it's not about figuring everything out. It's about embracing what works for you and knowing why it works for you or how it works for you. And building upon that. It's not about building something for yourself that others will understand, no. Most time in life, people are entertaining things to benefit them personally. And that's how it goes. And that's okay. Supply and demand, essentially. But more importantly, it's about knowing that the power that you have within yourself is so, so limitless that to give that power away to somebody or something outside of you is, it's running in circles. Know who you are. Believe in who you show up as and not how you're received. 
because the things that it took you to go through, good, bad, or indifferent, all those previous moments created who you are in the present. So to expect somebody outside of you who does not identify with the journey in a similar fashion, there's a chance that they may see you as an issue. They may see you as the problem. They may see you as an obstacle. But there's nothing you can do to change that. Because honestly, most people find more comfort in making others the bad guy. In making others uh, the black sheep or the one who doesn't fit in. And this is by far not a I'm the victim type of situation. Not at all. I simply detach. There are some times that I have to go into environments where I know how I'm received or perceived. And at one point in my life, that would really keep me out of those environments. However, understanding now that there are certain obligations in my life uh, that I must fulfill, it's my duty to fulfill. When I do come around, I come around with an objective in, in mind. I don't, I don't go around for small talk or for BS or to make anybody feel less than they are. I show up, perform, and leave. That's it. With no expectation outside of I am going to arrive, do whatever I must do to ensure the outcome I desire. And I take that approach in many areas. It's not to say that I'm without my own uh, obstacles or things to grow through. It's more so about finding the comfort in who I am. And I wish nothing but the same for you. Because this, this constant evolution, it, it doesn't stop. Opportunities are presented to us every day. But how we choose to show up in our lives each and every moment, each and every day. Those are the moments of peace for us. Those are the moments of happiness for us. Those are the opportunities for growth for us. Doesn't matter what the outside world thinks. Some people are masterful at tasks that really don't have a label. Some people are masterful at a style of life that's not the norm. It doesn't make them any less doesn't make them any better. They've just taken the reins on what they prioritize and what gives them power. So why can't we do the same? We can. It's just about how we believe in ourselves. It's just about the authority that we own within ourselves and knowing that nobody can take that. That authority is only given away. So believe in who you are. Push forward. But know that there's not some mysterious mountaintop that we get to and then everything's sweet. Nah. Master the small things. Master the little things. I won't even say master. Enjoy. Enjoy your life. And don't do it by the standards of anyone outside of you. Find out what gives you what gives you strength inside. Find out what propels you to act on faith or compels you to act on faith and propels you in a direction that feels right for you. And as you do more of that for yourself, you don't feel obligated to force that on anybody else. You don't feel obligated to judge anyone who does it differently than you. You don't care. Because you're at peace with your decisions that you made for yourself. It's another way of living. In my opinion, it's a beautiful way of living. Because you could detach from those people, places, things that really have nothing for you. Outside of more stress. Outside of more issues. When all you want to do is continue to grow prosperously in whatever area of your life and you know that that's your power so do it simply do it 
you will be labeled many things, whether you do it or not. So you might as well do it from your own choice, from your own power, from your own authority. And know that you'll find peace in it that nobody else ever can because they're outside of you. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Trust in who you are. And don't wait for anybody outside of you to validate it. Because the majority of the time, they won't. And that's okay. Until next time, stay strong. Operate in your power. And please, don't forget to smile.